Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're taking a look at some more 30 minutes mission stuff. This is the 144 scale option parts set. So pretty basic name there, option parts set. I guess they didn't really have it. Uh, options parts set one, I should say. All right, it is a little bit, slightly specific anyway. So basically this gives you some different option parts sets here. Option parts that you can use with your different kits used with the Alto or with the Portanova, whichever one you want. You've got some like cannon parts. Uh, some different weapons parts, some different armor parts, so it's kind of a good mix and match of kind of offense and defensive parts here that you've got it in this set that you can add to your kits. And so it looks like it's just going to be some parts here in gray, and we got it in just this small type box. This is weapon set 05. On this side of the box, there's nothing to look at there, but we do have a couple images here on this side. So it's just giving you a look at all the different parts you have included with this, and it looks like you have a number of these like small little parts that are going to be used for just like different connections and stuff like that, I guess. So you got a bunch of different stuff that you can use here with this. We're adding some different armor parts around there on the waist, the legs. Looks like that's like kind of thruster bits there added on the leg maybe. And then the weapons parts, which of course you can, looks like, customize those of course as well. And then you can customize with even more stuff using the flight uh, backpack there and some other different option parts sets, weapon sets, backpack part sets, and all this kind of stuff. So all this kind of stuff that you can have fun with. The options are limitless, so there's all your parts there. It looks like we've got three small little runners, and we have our instruction manual here. Opening this up to the front, it looks like we just have our construction where these parts will go, like on the top of the shoulders, on the waist, on the sides of the legs, these waist armor parts there, the weapons parts there, so just simple construction of that stuff. On the other side, a look at what you can do with some of the smaller parts, making some of these different joints, uh, making this is different arm joints there, looks like, uh, different little option parts that you can use. So a lot of quite interesting, useful stuff that you have included with this that you can do some really interesting things with, so that'll be cool. Uh, here's what you can do with the weapons, combining with weapons of the Portanova, also combining with the arm unit rifle large claw set there as well, so some pretty, pretty cool stuff you can do by combining this thing with a bunch of different stuff. There's our parts list there, but let's just go ahead and check out the runners. All right, so runner J1 here, Bandai being clever as they are, I'm guessing J stands for joint, and I guess, yeah, it does say there at the top if I read that. So 30 minute missions, joint one. So this is just different joint parts for the 30 minutes missions kits, but a lot of these parts probably completely useful with Gundam kits as well, with HD Gundam kits. So we'll take a look at that in the review portion of the video. Then we do also have runner OPS1, option set one. Again, for the marking for that, and we've got two of this runner actually. Once again, all these parts are in gray, so there's all the parts there. The detail on them looks nice, so let's get these all built up and we'll see what we can do. All right, so there's a lot of little nuggets in here to play with, so let's just get into it with like uh, the biggest parts here first, which is just these two big sort of laser cannon looking bits, which are exactly the same. You just get two of the same of these. And as you can see, it just has a hard point for plugging onto your kit, wherever you might want to plug that onto, most notably the arm as it shows you in the manual, which I'll show you here in a minute, but just this is made up of a couple of parts here and this little part here as well. So you could have this just really short like that or just even like that if you wanted or could take another extendo piece that we have here with this and make it into like a really long looking cannon like that. You'd have to drill a hole there at the other end for that or take one of these extra little bits here. Also, you could plug it onto there. I mean, you could go crazy with that, extending that out further or using all sorts of different option parts or anything with that. Again, also, of course, mix and match these parts with the weapons from other other kits as well so that's easy enough to do so for example you just plug that onto the arm of your kit like that now say you don't want it attached onto the arm and you do want an actual handle for it we do have a handle included with this set as well which is just this little thing here which you could use as some sort of like little pistol thing by itself as well it's just this very small thing but as you can see you could just plug the gun just into the side of that now it's kind of on the side which is a little bit goofy but I guess you could have that held in the hand and have the other one plugged onto the arm. Something like that, I guess, if you wanted to get really crazy with it. But anyway, we'll see some more different examples and stuff. Uh, there's also this side bit here, which, as it shows in the manual, is kind of meant to be plugged onto the side of the leg like that. But again, you can get creative with this. Just the two of those on the legs there like that do look pretty cool, though. Give it that sort of, uh, I don't know, re-entry pack or something like that. Some sub-flight pack sort of units, something like that anyway. And we got these bits here as well, which can be plugged on in place of the side skirts or, you know, again, kind of wherever you might want. That'll just plug onto the side there. And say you didn't want your original side skirt to go to waste, you could just plug that right onto the side of there again as well if you wanted or something else, it's really up to you. 
With that said, plugged onto the skirts is gonna look something like that, pretty cool. And then we've got uh, four of these kind of extra armor panels here that you can add to stuff. So let's say for example you wanted to add these, let's do them vertically like this on the side of the chest like this here. There's four of them but uh, two like left and two right uh, facing ones, so something like that. And you have these little plug-on parts which is basically sort of like a camera plug-on bit which I suppose you could plug here onto the end of these laser cannons, something like that it doesn't really quite fit flush on there, but you get the idea, something like that. If you wanted to turn these into cannons, you'd just turn that around, something like that. Oh, well, or again, as the manual shows, to plug it onto the top of the shoulder, I don't think it really looks very good there either, but you could plug that also onto the top of the shoulder like that, something if you wanted to. And then also we have these little plug-on bits as well, which are supposed to be like sort of mini turret sort of looking things, or I guess could look a little bit sort of like an antenna or something, depending on how you've got it plugged onto there. But I'm going to say that it's a little antenna that we're gonna plug there onto the back, so something like that could be pretty cool. We got two sets of this little articulated bit here, this is a kind of little articulated kind of subarm sort of thing, which you could combine to make into one longer one. But again, for the purposes of this demonstration, let's just stick this here onto the backpack like that. And let's say I wanted my cannon on here, but it doesn't quite fit on there. Luckily, we've got a part for that too. You've just got this connector piece here like that that will just connect two male pegs together like so. Then there you go. Now you've got that mounted up on an articulated arm connected to the backpack like that. Very cool. As for some of these other connector bits on this runner here, we've got this one which is basically just a, a cover piece. So like if you didn't want to stick anything in this hole here and you don't like having that hole, let's say on this side, you don't like having just that empty hole there, you can just stick this over that to cover that up and so then you will have just a little bit of detail there instead of a, just a hole. You also got a pair of these which are meant to go in place of the arm basically to turn a polycap uh, like a ball joint here into just a straight peg like that which then you could use to plug on some other different like Gundam arms or something like that it could be very useful for just plugging like some different Gumpla arms or something onto there but let's just use our other connector piece here to plug our other cannon onto the arm like this as an example in place of the arm. So he's got a cannon on the backpack and a cannon attached to the arm or in place of the arm there instead, something like that, for example. That could be pretty cool, right? I don't know, it's kind of goofy, but anyway, you have the piece that would allow you to replace the arm like that, which is cool. And then also for the arm, you have this very familiar looking bit here, which would be like for a shield or something where if you didn't want to have it plugged onto the side of the arm, you could use this in place and have it plugged onto the back of the arm instead, something like that. If you wanted to plug some weapon on or a shield or something onto the backside or underside of the arm, something like that, you could do that. Alternatively, on the Porta Nova, I think the connection point is on the back of the arm, so if you plugged it onto there, it would be a connection for plugging something onto the side of the arm of the Porta Nova. We've got a couple of these little connectors, which I don't really have anything, I don't know, on hand that I could really do, I guess, too much really with, but you have uh, there's tons of connections, you can stick a whole bunch of stuff together like that. And then you have a couple of these bits which are quite, quite interesting because these are basically just for the knee armor, so if we take off the knee armor, these don't connect via the regular circle peg, they connect with just this kind of square peg, so this is basically just an adapter for that to then be able to take your knee armor and to plug it onto kind of wherever you want. So say, I don't know, again, just for example, we're gonna plug this onto the side of the arm. For some reason like that, you could do that with this piece. Now on this kit, now you're without a knee, but if you're doing something like with the uh, Alto ground type where you have the leftover knees, uh, that are not used from the regular kit, you could then turn those into detail up parts or something by just using the connector piece, plugging them onto the kit in somewhere like that. Ah yes, and then also this little piece here, which as you can see, you could use for like plugging on something like that or something onto the kit, however you might see fit to use this little adapter piece. So basically, I'll just show you guys a couple of examples of these parts in use on a few different kits here, just so you can get an idea, but basically this set is just very versatile. Of course, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this set for just mixing and matching stuff around. Now, a lot of people, I guess, may not like the style of these parts as they're not like really meant to flow with any particular design. They're just meant to be sort of like universal, just detailed parts, but I think 
There's definitely a lot of cool options that you could do with these, even if you got this set and you don't really have plans for using all of it or even like half of it, just a few of the parts if you needed them uh, could make for some really cool detail parts or some sort of customized parts to add to your kit. And this set again is really only going to cost you a few dollars, so it shouldn't really break the bank and it should be worthwhile to give you some nice options to customize your kit, make it a little bit more unique, make it a little bit more towards whatever, however you want to build the kit up for yourself. So definitely a lot of really cool options in here. And certainly a lot more than I can show you just in this simple review video, but you guys get the idea and I'm sure there's plenty of creative ideas that you guys have had or will have for this set if you got it already for yourself or you're planning on getting it for yourself. There's definitely a lot of cool stuff that you can do and it's just a matter of kind of like getting it in hand and sort of just like playing around with it and you can sort of, sort of just kind of come up with different things you can do with it and it's pretty fun, pretty cool. So that's uh, another cool option set for these kits. I really like this set as well and that's going to be it for this review guys. If you do have any other further questions or comments feel free to leave those down below. Obviously with there being so many options that you can do with this, I couldn't show you everything in this video but hopefully just showed you enough that you guys can get the idea of how the different parts work that are included with this and then you, the rest of it is just kind of up to your own imagination. So you guys all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!